Hi, have you ever wished when telling your children a story that you was as interested in the story as what they were? Well, welcome to this new channel. I hope you enjoy it. This is a story that was written by Grandad for his grandchildren through lockdown. So please sit back, enjoy, remember to subscribe and like the channel and then you'll be able to join us for all the other parts in this great story. So if you're sitting comfortably, let's get started. Grandad's mystery. Grandad loves to work in the garden, making sure all his plant pots are full of flowers and that they are well watered. One day, after he had spent all day tidying up, Nana called him in for his tea. She said how nice the garden was looking. Grandad said thank you. And after tea, he said he would do the washing up and spend some time watching a bit of telly and then it would be time for him to go to bed. Next morning after breakfast, Grandad went to water the plants. He had such a shock. Some of the plant pots were not where he had put them. Hmm, he thought, it must be me. He thought perhaps that's where I did put them after all and I've just forgotten. Never mind, he carried on watering. However, the next morning, the same thing happened. Have you been moving my plant pots? He asked Nana. No, said Nana, I've been very busy in the house. Well, someone is moving them, said Grandad. So I'm going to put them back where they should be. And tonight I'm going to hide in the shed and see what happens. So Grandad put on his big coat that night. He remembered to wear his hat and he got comfortable in the shed. Later that night, just as the moon was at its brightest, he heard a noise. What was that, he thought. He was a little frightened and he wished he was safely tucked up in his bed. And then he heard the noise again. He peeked out of the shed window and what a surprise he got. There in the garden was a gnome and he was moving plant pots all over the place. Grandad crept out of the shed and watched him. The gnome was so busy and never heard Grandad. Excuse me, what are you doing? asked Grandad. The gnome was so surprised he fell head first into a plant pot. Grandad had to help him to get out and after the gnome had recovered from the shock, he said to Grandad, I'm really sorry, but you put all the plants in the wrong places. These flowers like to be in the sunshine and these flowers like to be in the shade. I was only trying to help you. Ah, oh, OK. Uh, thank you very much, said Grandad. You are such a help. So, yes, please, in future, move the plant pots wherever you like and we can share the garden. Next morning, Nana said to Grandad, did you solve the mystery? Um, no, said Grandad. It must have been me. He had decided to keep the mystery to himself for a little while. Oh, so what do you think? Do you think he should have told Nana? Let's see what happens next, shall we? So, the mysterious gnome living in Nana and Grandad's garden was very upset because Grandad had wet his little house when he was watering the plants. What are you doing? he shouted, jumping up and down. How am I going to get my dinner now? All my things are wet. Grandad was very sorry. He didn't know where the gnome's house was, but he knew he had to try and put things right. Grandad went in the house and talked to Nana. He told him all about the gnome and what he had done. Nana came up with a good idea. Why don't you use my hairdryer to dry out the gnome's house? Surely that will make him happy. What a good idea, said Grandad. So back out into the garden he went with Nana's hairdryer. What are you going to do with that? Said the gnome. I've never, he's never seen a hairdryer before. I'm going to dry out your house, said Grandad. Now this I've got to see, said the gnome. 
and after a short time of blowing warm air on the house, the little house was bone dry. Wow, that's absolutely amazing, said the gnome. What else could it do? I suppose it can do all sorts of things, said Grandad. It can dry my beard. Can it dry my beard, asked the gnome. Well, yes, said Grandad. So the gnome washed his hair and he washed his beard and Grandad showed the gnome how to use the hair dryer. The gnome looked very handsome and he was extremely pleased. So now, on certain days, Nana has to listen for a little knock on the door because the gnome comes to borrow the hair dryer so he can style his beard and his hair. And Nana also thinks that he's got a girlfriend. Wow. Well, I wonder if he has got a girlfriend. And I wonder what the gnome's name is. I think we'll have to wait till next time. So don't forget to subscribe and like the channel and join us again tomorrow for the next part of the story. Bye bye.